Can you remember a day when the weather started out warm and sunny, but ended up with rain, wind and cooler temperatures? How could the weather change so quickly? Well, chances are a front move through. So what is a front? It's when a different air mass moves in, replacing the current air mass that's in its place. Some are cold, warm, dry, and even wet. The leading edge of that air mass is called a front. So let's start with a cold front. This is what it looks like on a weather map, and I'm sure you can guess that it's the leading edge of a colder air mass pushing in. Think of it this way. Have you ever opened up the freezer door on your refrigerator and felt that cold air drain down to your toes? Well, that's because cold air is heavy and dense, and it likes to stay low and near the ground. The air in front of a cold front is forced up, cooling it and condensing it into a band of rain or snow, depending on the season. That's why cold fronts produce precipitation. A warm front looks like this on the weather map. Warm air is light and doesn't hug the ground like cold air does. So when a warm air mass moves in, it glides up like a ramp and over time pushes the cold air aside or kind of wears it away. With all the warm air going up and over the colder air, it cools and forms clouds and precipitation. Then there are occluded and stationary fronts. When a cold front catches up to a warm front, they are said to occlude. In a way, it's like the air masses from both fronts mixed together. And this is what it looks like on the weather map, kind of a combination of the cold and warm front symbols, as well as the color purple. And then there are stationary fronts. So what if the front doesn't move at all? Well, then it creates a stationary front and the weather doesn't really change much. And this is what it looks like on the weather map, kind of like an occluded front, but the triangles and half circles are on opposite sides of the line showing the front and it's also red and blue. That's your future casters lesson of the day. I'm Doppler 10 chief meteorologist Ashley Barrissey.